Um, well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to everybody that's out in the world. Uh, it's 10 a.m. here, so let's do this with a lot of good energy. Uh, as uh, Thank you for that introduction. Uh, as Perry mentioned, my name is uh, Josh. Uh, I'm presenting today about small angle scattering and looking at potential applications and uses for cosmetic chemistry. Uh, this is a presentation I worked on with my previous supervisor, Dr. Katie Wood, and so which is Australia's nuclear science and technology organization, which has sort of ownership over Australia's nuclear reactor, which is used for research purposes, as well as medical isotopes. It's not used for power. Uh, and also the Australia's synchrotron in Melbourne. Uh, oh, that's not the button I thought it would. There we go. Uh, so today's presentation, I'll go over sort of first question, what is small angle scattering? Look at its applications in different areas which are applicable to cosmetic chemistry, and then looking at how you would actually access small angle scattering. Uh, it's specific Australian access discussion. However, a lot of countries have their own reactors with uh, research capabilities. A lot of countries have their own uh, synchrotrons. And then, of course, there's lab-based SACS instruments. Uh, so even though it's Australia-based, it can be extrapolated to wherever you are. Uh, that's a lot. So the, really, the only three things you'll need to remember from today, the only three things I'll get to you to remember today are what is small angle scattering, uh, what can small angle scattering do, and how can small angle scattering help you specifically? So just a bit about myself for people who weren't here at the very beginning. I finished uh, my undergraduate honours degree at Monash University. I did a uh, double major in chemistry and a minor in physics. So physical chemistry is sort of where I've always been at. Following that, I'd spent some time in industry making some gas chromatography supplies before returning for my PhD, where I was looking at the interplay of nanoparticles and surfactants. Uh, following that, I went to do an international postdoc, but it was 2020, specifically April 2020, so that didn't happen. And I made the long trip from Melbourne to Sydney and started looking at surfactants in ionic liquids as solvents. Uh, the interesting thing there is that ionic liquids all have their own sort of structure to them, so that interplay of the structure that the surfactants can form, but also the ionic liquids can form. Following that, I went to ANSTO, where I was working as an industry instrument scientist. My role there was essentially to connect commercial users and industry with the sort of techniques and concepts that I've been working on throughout my entire career to that point which was looking at small angle neutron scattering, but also X-ray scattering to an extent. And since then, I've actually been at UNSW, which is also in Sydney, uh, and it seems like a bit of a leap and it seems very different to cosmetics, but a lot of the chemistry concepts are the same in that I've been looking at the origins of life. You might think, well, origins of life and skincare are very different things, but they're actually really similar because we have these lipid self-assembled systems we could be talking about micelles, we could be talking about vesicles, or we could be talking about early protocells and their interaction with things in their environment, salts and nanoparticles. So there's actually quite a lot of overlap there. And another interesting thing about UNSW that my current supervisor uh, uh, told me to, to, to include uh, was that there's actually a cosmetic chemistry course that began recently uh, since the pandemic. Uh, and it was really getting people thinking about what they're putting on their hands and how they're you know, really uh, moisturizing themselves. Everyone needs to moisturize because everyone was washing their hands so often. And so the course started looking at uh, how the chemistry is involved in cosmetics for all sorts of processes, starting from the products all the way through to the applications. But the interesting thing is it was advertised at they weren't doing this job for chemists. They were doing this for people who are doing arts degrees but want to have, you know, what's actually going on there? What am I putting on my hands? What am I putting on my skin? Uh, what am I putting on my lips? That sort of thing. Uh, and I've been asked to mention that, that, you know, they'd love to have involvement from people around the world. If you have any anything you would want to be a part of the medic course, uh, just included email addresses of course conveners here, uh, DJ and and being my current supervisor. Uh, and that was just a nice bit of fortuity because I'd already been sort of interacting a bit with the cosmetics society. And then I came to UNSW and hey, cosmetics course. But that's sort of out of, out of for today because really what we're focused on is small angle scattering. So for those who don't know, which is probably a good chunk, uh, small angle scattering is a non-destructive in situ analytical technique 